I'm you're bad. either shallow or you're just trying to copy my answer. Stop making me laugh. <laughs> Should I mute him? <laughs> Yo, what's up, Vogue? This is ASAP Rocky here, and I'm going face to face with Rihanna today. Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> what's up, Riri? What's up, Rocky? How you? I'm good. How you doing? I got a couple questions for you from Vogue. What's the first thing you notice in somebody when you see them for the first time? Like, what's the first thing you look for? The first thing you see is someone's face, unless you're looking at their shoes. Mm. I usually tend to look at their skin, their teeth. Your smile, and then after that, it's more about like what whatever energy they're 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 giving off. That's really really important because all of that prettiness could go to shit if if your demeanor is like whack. Most fellas, not myself, but most fellas look at the ass. You feel me? But you know, skin is definitely one of them. The good news is, you know, ass has skin. So thank you That's guys. A fact. <laughs> I know it's in our skin. <laughs> How would you describe your skin type? My skin type is um, just as complicated as men are. <laughs> you know, yeah, you wasn't ready for that because y'all always try to say women are complicated. It's y'all. I have gone through many skincare changes within my journey. Started from acne for sure, all the way to sensitivity and. and melasma and being a black woman with not knowing I need to use SPF, I've, I've learned a lot. So what is your skin type? Handsome. What's your favorite curse word? It means so much in four letters. Give me like, 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 you know, I just like drop my, you know, my glass of juice or like. Yeah, it could mean that. Shit could also mean that. True, but I like better. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> What's your favorite item that you purchased for less than $20? My last favorite purchase on the $20 was definitely a diffuser for my essential oils. That's funny because you're a guy, but that means a lot to us as women. Well. That's what's up. Yo, high tops or low tops? High tops for me. Jacket or umbrella? This is a tricky question because my fans might feel like I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> I've made the most money off of a song call up. <laughs> Jacket. Uh, Next. Who is your number one beauty icon? This is going to sound very redundant and very cliche, but my mother. My entire concept of beauty came from her. I was always so intrigued by her. I wanted to dress like her. I wanted to look like her. I wanted to do my hair like her, do my makeup like her. She was a, a sales clerk for beauty products and perfume and makeup. It's so weird that it, it's come full circle that all of these ventures are things that I've, um, I've extended my creativity to and it has been a part of my brand overall. So I learned from the best. You know, I had the best teacher, my mom. Yo, what's the one part of the beauty industry you wish you could change? I wish that the leaders of the beauty industry were a more diverse um, set of pioneers who have not just experienced the culture, but have experienced um, a negligence in the industry, whether it comes to their skin tone or skin type. I feel like there's so there's so many voids to be filled and we will only know that by the pioneers that have experienced those voids and, and, and the lack of their representation in the industry. And so I think by having an eclectic array of skin types, skin tones, different cultures and people and, and representations of religions and cultures, you would have the most information on where to go next. What was the hardest part about working with me on Fenty Skin? I can tell you what that is. Not laughing the whole time. The hardest part <laughs> of working with you for Fenty Skin was getting your approval on your images. Because <laughs> your skin is pretty regardless. 
we that's why we hired you you know what i'm saying <laughs> they're like i can't pick <laughs> which one of my pores are smaller and which image <laughs> i'm just playing but yeah it's not hard working with you hey yo what was your first red carpet look can you remember that young dumb skinny <laughs> And the inspiration for my future and my evolution, this had to change. <laughs> it's crazy. So what's next? What's your favorite look of mine? Oh, you know what I really love? Those what? like bell bottom capris with the bunny ear scully cap. Oh, good looking. I love that outfit so much. Like I wish yeah, I, could look, I could wear that like as a girl, but I can't. Oh, yeah, you would just have to. Yeah, I was sure. I mean, I could. Oh, we have, but that outfit for sure is one of my favorites. It's so fun. It's so it's so quirky and weirdo and you. What's your favorite color to wear? I love black. I love brown. I love <sighs> gray, but I really really love lime green. Lime green could be for anything: makeup, nails, hair, outfits, different fabrics, different pieces of. Furniture, I, I love lime green. Nah, I can't front lime green, go with everything. Like, I, I love that shit know. too. All right, what's your favorite show to binge watch when you at home, like like right now? Oh my God, this is gonna probably be really embarrassing. Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> Let the people know. We wanna know. No, but I don't know what's my favorite, but usually it starts with the real housewives of <laughs> everything. The real housewives of everything, huh? Nice. How do you stay mentally and inspirationally aligned? That's a good one. Being mentally and inspirationally aligned, I mean, it calls for two different sides of my brain and my, my spirit. Um, because one is a lot more logical. One is a lot of like talking myself into whatever I, I want to feel or whatever I, I want to evoke. Um, Inspirationally, it's me, what I'm pulling in. It's like, what do I want to bring into my spirit, my mind, my logic, my my being, my ideas, my creative space. That's where the inspiration goes. I, I, want, I want that to come in. And in a way, it comes in one way and it's evoked through my art in another way. And, and that could be inspiration for someone else in the future. And so, it's kind of just those two things are kind of the yin and the yang and the core of who I am as an artist. Facts. Oh, Damn, I think that's that. a dope ass question. I've never been asked that shit. That's weird. I love this question. I feel like I just yeah. found myself. <laughs> what do you wish people were talking more about in the beauty industry? The topic of inclusivity has become something that like our brand has, has like fallen upon just by sincere and organic perspective like my my idea of beauty has always been like a black woman so the way that i've expanded that idea was doing skincare in a more gender neutral idea where men feel included as well because men love their skin and they take care of it but they feel obligated almost to only use products that are are for men because anything beyond mm. that seems like it's just too feminine. It's not for them. Mm. They're not allowed. Mm. They don't have permission. And you came from the hood, but you pretty and you like your fashion. But like you represent a lot of male criteria, which they don't really allow themselves to be until they see some, their representation and you've represented a lot of those men for me big deal for me to have you be a part of that the pleasure is all mine i want to say thank you for you know supporting me at a time when i just came home from jail thank you for identifying my beauty as a man you know what i'm saying i appreciate you like like for real for real though you know and not only that thank you for answering a lot of questions that I didn't really know. I really appreciate that too. You know, I mean, this was tight. It was good catching up with you and everything. Hey, shout outs to Vogue. Shout outs GQ. Shout outs <laughs> Bad Girl Riri. Shout outs Fenty Skin. Shout outs ASAP, you heard? Yeah. Wow. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, guys, if you want to see the tables turn, just head over to GQ to watch me ask ASAP Rocky a bunch of questions face to face. Thank you.